There is a story so strong and bold, but only the strong ears can listen to their shallow voices. With the society's broad eyes, with the glass shades of ignorance, they have written them a bad check entitled looters, pickpockets, rapists, robbers, and all other elements entitled with an ailing society. The streets baptize them a new name, Chokora. And in their street confinements, where they nurse their hunger and solitude with bottles of glue and substance as they await to be aroused by shadows of any passerby turned well wisher. And there, in their informal habitat, they call home, they are willing to pour out their sour tales to any listening ear. Their faces and posture are an open book filed with hunger, cold insecurity, violence, hallucinations, stigmatization, and haunting memories of their one sin past are their steaming breakfast. Their eyes are dry and not even a single tear can be traced. It's early time the male child should be given attention. Being assumed to be a man when too young to even take care of himself, his back becomes a bed of responsibilities. To cope with life, he has to get hard and mad. With the spirit of togetherness, the society has joined hands, mushrooming organizations supporting the girl child as well as women. They too have their own story calling for a mass attention, but it's high time we peel off our masks and agree the boy child is suffering more and more despite both born the same as a female counterpart. Along the streets of Nairobi, Kenya and its outskirts, compared to girls, boys form a 90% population which is quite embarrassing considering some of their sisters are feeding their academic nutrition. While they roam around seeing nowhere to go to, despite some of them having their parents alive. Some of them also have the desire to go to school, but they lack moral support and parental guidance. Crime in the society has for so long been related to a boy child, which to some extent is true, but do we try to figure out the reason why boys venture into crime? Parents stop monitoring the behavior of the male children earlier than their female ones. This in turn leads to peer pressure, which comes at a cost. They form gangs and dangerous groups, which inhibit peace and unity in the community.
Parents take care of their daughters keenly than their sons. Some parents start to pressure their sons to look for an external housing to shelter themselves when they are exactly 18 years, while their sisters live with their parents up to the day they will be married even if they are 35 years. This in the result affects their behaviors negatively because a few parents remember to follow their behaviors after starting to live on their own. The police also contribute to the long journey of the extinction of a boy child which seems to be in the progress. Nelson Mandela once said that the social equality is the only basis of human happiness. Boys do not have a freedom to interact with their male friends because when they are found in groups, they are arrested and not even told the reason why they are being in-housed. Lack of freedom for a boy child makes them hostile and very little. Let us embrace gender equality in everything. Parents to play their part in assisting boy child as well as the government together with organizations.